Well, passengers on a first direct flight from Philly to Iceland are nowhere near their destination this morning. The plane was forced to make an emergency landing in Boston. Oh, this is reporter Dan Carabello is live at Philadelphia International Airport to explain why those passengers aren't in Iceland yet. Good morning, Jan. Rahel and Jim, good morning. Well, Iceland Air is blaming technical problems. It certainly wasn't the sight these travelers expected to see. They set course for Iceland, instead ended up in Boston, and now they're wondering where they're going to get back on that flight and get over to Iceland. So it looks like the first direct flight from PHL to Iceland was a bit of a fail, but the airline is saying this is a case of better safe than sorry. Tired and frustrated passengers from Iceland Air Flight 828 unexpectedly found themselves in Boston this morning, waiting in long lines for hotel vouchers after their flight to Iceland was grounded because of technical problems. An Iceland Air spokesperson says flight attendants and passengers alike in the rear of the plane smelled a light odor, likening it to the scent of rubber. My friend and I actually had the uh, seats in the back row. Uh, the problem seemed to be coming from the back of the plane. And there was a weird smell when we got onto the plane. I just equated it to the bathroom. Pilots checked it out, and over Canada, about two and a half hours into the flight, they decided to turn the plane around and have the problem checked out by safety inspectors. Meantime, passengers were left wondering exactly what went wrong. There wasn't anything particularly weird about the plane. It was maybe a little bit hot, so I wasn't sure if there's was an air conditioning issue. Um, otherwise, it was like a very relaxing, normal flight until that happened. The mood this morning, a hard turn from Wednesday evening. <laughs> when officials from both Iceland and Philly celebrated the first direct flight on Iceland Air from Philly to Reykjavik. On board the failed flight, Philly Mayor Jim Kenney. His office says he's staying the night in Boston like the others. Eyewitness News spoke on the phone with one passenger from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, who's trying to get to Iceland for a conference. People are tired and, and a little worried, but for the most part, it's it's calm. I mean, nobody's yelling or screaming or anything. I just got my slip for the hotel and they said to look out for an email and I mentioned that I'm afraid to go to sleep. What if I missed the email? And they did say it probably won't be early in the morning. Donna went on to say it'll probably be in the afternoon. She also went on to commend Iceland Air for its dealing with this situation and a lot of tired passengers. A spokesperson says once this plane is checked out and given the all clear, these passengers will be back on their way to their final destination. We're reporting live at PHL this morning. Jan Carabao, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Jim Rahel, back into you.